Ladies and gentlemen, I was most touched to be asked to attend Fair Trade's 20th anniversary celebrations and can only apologise for not being able to join you all in person. However, this brings you my warmest congratulations on such a special occasion. Now, we stand today at a critical crossroads in our task of building a more sustainable future for both people and the planet. The problems facing farmers and communities producing food and goods that nourish and sustain us are as acute today as at any time in history. The threat of climate change, the depletion of natural resources, growing social and economic deprivation, and a declining share of value for the poorest in supply chains, all these things threaten not just the future of farmers and producers, but the future for us all. For many years, um, I have encouraged and supported innovative collaborations between business, government, the financial world, local communities and NGOs in pursuit of a radically more sustainable economic model. The principles at the heart of the fair trade system, that we must value our food, uh, the farmers who produce it, the land and natural resources that sustain it, and treat all of these fairly and with respect, are very close to my own heart. So it is inspiring to hear that today the UK is the world's leading market for fair trade goods. In this regard, I could only congratulate all of those working tirelessly to support farmers and workers around the world to bring better, more sustainable trading practices into the heart of how we do business, how we eat and shop. Needless to say, I I'm proud that Dutch Originals, the company I established 22 years ago to support better food and farming practices, uh, to help family farmers and raise money for charitable causes, has also played its part in Fairtrade's impressive journey to date. From a handful of small brands in 1994 to 1.75 billion pounds in retail sales today, it is heartening to know that as well as fairer prices and fairer trading practices, the UK fair trade market now delivers £26 million each year in additional resources to around uh, 1.4 million farmers and workers growing commodities uh, such as tea, coffee, bananas or cocoa. And this is money that is invested in programmes such as schools, uh, health clinics, reforestation and water management and improved agricultural practices for a better, more sustainable future. Now, as someone who believes strongly in inclusive local communities, it is splendid that thousands of local groups, young people in schools and universities, different faith groups and entire towns, cities and, and counties have campaigned for fairer trade. I can only urge you to keep up the good work. Your voices and actions as citizens and consumers provide a powerful encouragement for business and government to play their part in building a more durable world. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that as we celebrate Fair Trade's 20th anniversary, we can all use this opportunity to refresh and strengthen our commitment to delivering a fair future, one that is fairer in business and global trade, fairer to the planet and fairer for future generations. I wish fair trade every success as it continues on that journey.